Welcome back, folks, to Movie Time with Chris. And today, Throwback Thursday, we're taking it back to, actually, I was like, oh, we're not taking it back that far. But when you think about it, we're taking it back 24 years. I know people that haven't even been alive for 24 years. So, yes, we are taking it back. And we're taking it back to a movie called Wag the Dog. Now, I don't know. I've been in kind of a mood lately where I'm reinterested heavily in politics. Um, you know, there are people that know that in 2000, if I'd stayed in Philadelphia, I wanted to run for Congress in 2008. But I didn't stay in Philadelphia. Um, but I wanted to. And here we are. 13 years later, uh, something I'm thinking about again. So I've been really, really been into a political movie kick lately. So I found this one and it was something I hadn't seen before. And I said, let's watch it. So let's watch the trailer. There's a crisis in the White House. What's the crisis? And the president's top advisors have been called together. Oh, jeez. The sexual misconduct occurred inside the Oval Office. With the election only days away, how much will this scandal affect the outcome? The president spent the weekend pressing the flash. He wasn't campaigning, he was dating, actually. Now, Washington's top spin doctor... We can distract the press for 11 days till the election. I think we got a chance. ...has an idea. We can't afford a war. We're gonna have the appearance of a war. But he can't pull it off without Hollywood's top producer. Uh, do I know you? We have some mutual friends in Washington. Why come to me? We want you to produce. You want me to produce your war? Not a war, it's a pageant. We need a theme, a song, some visuals. We need, you know, it's a pageant. New Line Cinema presents... How close are you to this? What do you want the kid to say? All the spectacle. I know we're all concerned for the president. I know we're all concerned for the president. I know uh, that we are all concerned for the president. He didn't, he didn't sell the line. All the drama. The president's going to go to war with Albania in about 30 minutes. Albania's hard to ride. These are chips. We need it for the armed position on the street. It'll be a kit, and we'll punch it in later, right? And all the effects of real war. Okay, put the, the village behind her. Give me some sound of screaming. Without the casualties. America has seldom witnessed a more poignant picture. Face the same process with the last Schwarzenegger movie. You're the man. Albania, Albania. That rhymes. I can't believe it. We forgot a hero. It was like we sent him the Christmas card and we left out the what do you call fruitcake. There you go. Sergeant Schumann, if I may, welcome to history. How are you? <laughs> Anybody want a beer? Because I could party. When it's cooking, it's cooking. From Academy Award winning director Barry Levinson. When this goes national, I get to put it on my resume? Actually, no. What, what could they do to me? Take them home to your house and kill you. Academy Award winner Dustin Hoffman. This is politics at its finest. Academy Award winner Robert De Niro. How would you like an ambassadorship? That's my pay off. Hell, I just do it for a story to tell. Oh, no, you couldn't tell anybody. Listen, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just <laughs> lawyer, you couldn't tell anybody. No, no, no. It's just a, it's a, it's, it's a pageant. It's a pageant. That's what it is. Wag the dog. When the fit hits the shan, somebody's going to have to stay after school. This is funny. This is funny. Robert De Niro is one of the greatest actors ever. Such range, just, you know, when you see him, you're, you're typically thinking things like The Godfather, Goodfellas, The Irishman. You're thinking about a Casino. You're thinking about these movies where he plays like a gangster, a serious, tough role. But his comedic performances are great. You know, War with Grandpa may not have been a great movie, but his comedic performance, mm. This movie, yes. Uh, the Intern, I love that movie. So just Robert De Niro. Dustin Hoffman has been on my list 
of top three actors ever. I love Dustin Hoffman. Talk about range. Uh, Papillon. Rayman. Uh, Death of a Salesman. Runaway Jury. Just so, so many amazing performances. So to put these two together... Man. So as we saw in the trailer, you know, the president was in some kind of a sex scandal. We've seen that before in real life and in political movies. Primary Colors is a movie entirely based on that. But this shows how they were going to, the government essentially was going to spin it. And get people to focus on something else. And it's we see that all the time with politics. How politicians won't really answer questions. Uh, they'll dodge around it. And we see that happening here. To avoid this scandal and not focus on it and not answer questions about it, they create a fake war. And a fake war hero that was in that war just to hold the American public's attention somewhere else until they get to the election so that the president can win re-election. And, yeah, I mean, they, they say it perfectly in an episode of The West Wing where Jimmy Smith says, Look, we're practically teaching media evasion in kindergarten now. Look, teacher, the issue isn't whether I pinch Dorothy during milk and cookies. The American people are more concerned with the need for new nap mats, and I got a six-point plan. So, yeah, you know, practically teaching media evasion since kindergarten. And that's what we get with politics. And I think one of the great things about uh, the scene in Primary Colors or even the entire concept of the movie Bullworth is politicians telling the truth, answering the question, that really gets your attention because it's like, what? You don't expect it. And, uh, but this movie, the way that they just maneuvered around it and shifted the whole story, by the time the movie's over, you as the viewer have totally forgotten about the sex scandal that the president was involved in. And this is only two hours after you hear about that. So, you know, in real life, if it was 11 days, you would have forgotten about it. So they did an amazing job with this. What they were pulling off in the movie and the actual performance of the movie. Oh, you know, two titans acting in this movie. De Niro and Hoffman pulled it off beautifully you know you don't even see the president or whoever's playing the president at all in the film it focuses on those two yeah you've got woody harrelson yeah you've got ann hesh but oh my god this movie and willie nelson's character <laughs> oh man he is just he is great he is absolutely great but Wag the Dog. You can find this movie on HBO Max. And I suggest you go and watch it on HBO Max. With a subscription, of course. But those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, you can find me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. I have a blog. And you guys can always reach out to me through email, movietimewithchris at gmail.com. But until next time, stay safe and take care.